Second stage win for Thomas Vaucler in this 2012 Tour de France. The Europe car leader has swallowed all four passes as the frontman and therefore clinches the polka dot jersey. The big underachievement today is for title holder Cadel Evans. The Australian loses almost five minutes at the general classification, still led by Bradley Wiggins. This Wednesday, the racers experience a high mountain stage from Pau to Bagnères de Luchon, a 197-kilometer ride over the four historic Pyrenean passes, Obisque and Tourmalet, both all category, and Aspin Persou, the last two climbs of the day, both category one. This stage 16 offers a surprising scenario. After only 20 kilometers, 38 riders clear off to form the largest breakaway in this 2012 Tour de France. Amongst the group, the polka doll jersey holder Frederick Kasiakov, Cadel Evans BMC teammates George Hinkepi and Stephen Cummings, Francis Thomas Vaucler, who won stage 10, and Spain's Igor Martinez, ranked 18th at the general classification, 18 minutes of Bradley Wiggins, the overall leader. Two of the breakaway riders are struggling for the best climber classification. Ranked fourth, Thomas Vaucler is 32 points behind Kasiakov and would like to dispute him the polka dot jersey. He proves his determination as he attacks the Swede in the last meters of the obisque climb. Vaucler takes 25 king of mountain points, five more than what his rival wins. After riding along for about 100 kilometers, the huge break splits in the ascent of the Tourmalet Pass. Once again, Thomas Vaucler attacks and is followed by his compatriot, Brice Feuillu. The duo cycles together. Vaucler is first over the summit and collects another 25 points. He is now only 16 points behind Kasiakov for the King of Mountains jersey. The latter is fourth at the top. While the bunch reached the top 10 minutes after the leaders, the French duo heads towards the Col d'Aspin. Vaucler goes over the top first and clinches more precious points for the best climber classification. Further back, the yellow jersey group accelerate and Cadal Evans is dropped. The title holder is having a hard time in the Aspen ascent and gets to the point 45 seconds behind Wiggins. Vaucler realizes some of his comrades from the group of 38 are coming back. This is the time for him to leave Brice Feuillu and to make his own race for the ascent of the Persou Pass, the last climb of the day. He's alone as he crosses over the summit and therefore gets 10 more King of Mountain points, making him the new best climber of the tour. The pass causes some damage in the yellow jersey group that Cadal Evans had managed to catch on the Espan descent. The Australian is dropped again. Pierre Roland and Thibaut Pinot collapse as well. The pursuers group around the yellow jersey sees Vincenzo Nibali attack four kilometers from the top. The Italian breaks from the Sky Team top of the GC duo, Bradley Wiggins and Chris Froome, but they manage to come back. After pedaling at supersonic speed on the last descent, Soma Vaucler gets to Bagnères de Luchon with a comfortable lead. It allows him to sever every second of this second stage victory in the event. The second at the finish line is Chris Anker Sorensen of Denmark, who started in the breakaway and was remarkable in the end of the stage. The main change at the GC comes from Kedal Evans, who was dropped in the Pursuit Pass. The Australian is now seventh, over eight minutes behind Bradley Wiggins.